All right, everyone. Uh, welcome to today's charting session. Sa mga hindi pa po nakakaalam what we do here, uh, tinitignan po natin either yung mga trending names, meaning sila po yung pangalan na malaki yung ginalaw, whether to the upside or to the downside, or perhaps malaki yung value traded nila, or generally speaking, mas minamatahan lang po ng mga tao, no? Also, tumatanggap din po tayo ng mga chart requests. So kapag meron po kayong mga requests, please feel free to let me know in the comment section below. As you can see, I do try my best na mapagbigyan lahat ng nag-request, no? Pamisa-misa lang talaga. Mahina yung kalaban so I don't go as fast as some people would like. Okay? So, I hope you all had a nice and refreshing and restful weekend, no? And you're ready to tackle the markets this week. So, we'll start off with C, Chelsea, no? Uh, let me zoom in a bit sa kung ano na nangyayari. So, essentially, ang nangyayari dito sa Chelsea was nag tayo sa area na to, di ba? Kapalang ko lang ng konti, hindi ko alam bakit. Okay? So, nag tayo sa area na yan. From there, okay, nagkaroon tayo ng break above nitong minor uh, range na to, maliit na range. Broke above, came back, tagged the high end of the range, more or less. It's never... It's rarely ever gonna be exact. <clears throat> From there, bounce, nag-form tayo ng double top. Then, push lower back again. Bumalik na naman tayo dito sa low end ng current range natin. So, what I'm looking to see dito sa uh, C, no? Is for price to come back and break above tong 1.94 to 2 pesos na area. Kasi if we do so, that opens up this range above. From 1.94 or 2 pesos all the way hanggang 2.28, no? So, bakit ko to pinuna? Kasi, assuming na tumuloy yung dito, hindi naman nakakagulat kung kahit pa paano may sentiment na mag-carry over sa C, no? So, assuming patuloy yung pagganda ng chart ng dito, patuloy yung pagtulak niya pataas, hindi lang siya temporary, then we might see etong C, <laughs> okay, puro C, no? na sumunod. So, I'm keeping an eye on it in case may mag-form na interesting structure moving forward and then see if perhaps it's something that could be traded at least for the short term. Do I believe it's gonna be a full-blown reversal? I don't know, no? I'm just saying na if magkaroon ng setup, at least I'll be ready. Ang ayaw nating makita dito sa C is for us to break beneath tong 1.6 kasi isipin nyo parang eto nag-range, this was a temporary overshoot. So kung mabasag tong 1.6, number one, baka balikan natin yung support dito. And if mabasag din pati yon, then we likely delve deeper. Bagong 52-week low, bagong structure low. So hintay na naman tayo kung ano yung mangyayari, ano yung magaganap before we can decide what to do dito sa C kung sakali mang mangyari yon. Right. Uh, next, tignan po natin yung Aldi. No? So, Aldi was a requested stock. So, medyo dumami naman na. So, let's just look at it from a daily perspective. So, ang nangyari dito was essentially nag stair step down lang tayo. Diba? We've discussed this before. We were ranging here. I was saying na until na ma-reclaim niya yung IPO price niya, uh, I wasn't going to be interested while it was around this area here. Diba? So, nag-range tayo dito. Ay, actually, dito pa nga yata yun. Yung pinag-uusapan natin. Tapos ngayon, bumaksak. Nag-range naman dito. Bumaksak na naman. After bumaksak, as always, parang paint by numbers, we come back, tag yung previous level of support formed here and here, nag-hold, and then for now, nag-hold tayo beneath it. Now, bakit wala akong drinawing na support level sa baba? Kasi hindi pa tapos yung structure. Eh. ba? So, I still have to wait and see kung ano yung mangyayari. Now, what do I want to see dito sa Aldi right now para matrade siya? So ngayon, I'm less interested na ma-reclaim niya yung IPO price and more interested in waiting to see kung anong structure yung pwede mag-develop. Perhaps from here, di ba, may na-form tayo na high dito, price could come back, test it from ano, above, kung mag-hold to, then maybe that's a signal na babalik na tayo sa range na to. So that's a very tradable range, no? From 56 cents all the way hanggang 66 cents. Kung mabasag yung 66, then we're looking at 73 possibly next. Okay? However, kung kunwari ma-break nga to, pero fake out lang, bumalik din kagad dito sa baba, then highly likely, it would seem a lot less interesting. Diba? I'd still be wary. I'd be watching out. Baka mag-form ng inverted head and shoulders pattern kung sakali man na mangyari to. But 
again, kung mabuo, we'll be ready. Kung wala, edi wala. Hindi natin ipipilit. We are not predicting na magkakaroon ng ganong pattern. We're just saying na if may ganon mga pattern, then we'll be ready. We'll, we know what to watch out for. Alright? So, yun yun dito sa Aldi. For now, uh, wala muna. Hintay talaga. Kasi pwede pa itong tumulak pa baba eh. Okay? Hindi pa itong nakaka-carve out ng bagong low. Wala pang change in structure. No, nothing. Uh, next thing na po natin yung shell pH. No? So, shell pH essentially, um, ang nangyari dito was, nagkaroon tayo ng push higher here. Nag-conso dito widely. Diba? Nagkaroon ng brief conso here. We broke down, formed the range here. Broke down. So, nag stair step tayo. Tapos ngayon, nag-break down na naman. Nag-break down tayo ng previous candle na to. Tried to go back above here. Pero nag-close beneath. Binalikan natin yung support at 18 pesos. no? So, ang tanong ngayon is, mag range kaya to ulit between 18 and 18.84? Or will we break beneath 18 and balikan natin tong 17.5 na support? Okay? Kung balikan natin yung 17.5 na support, uh, likely, ang mangyayari, kailangan konting hintay na muna. Baka mag-range muna siya dito. If so, we'll be waiting to see kung mag-break siya above, tapos balik tayo sa trading range na to. And if mabasag yung 18.84 from there, then pabalik ng 20 possibly. No? However, kung kunwari mabasag tong 17.50 altogether, baka balikan natin tong area of consolidation from before, kung saan naggather yung price before this strong push up. So kung mabasag tong 17.5, it wouldn't surprise me kung mabalikan natin to. Tapos dito tayo makahanap ng some type of reaction. Now when I say reaction, a lot of people automatically assume na reversal. Diba? I choose my words carefully most of the time. Okay, so... I say reaction, ibig ko lang sabihin is price could possibly bounce from there, price could possibly stop there, then konsum muna. We don't know. But I am expecting some type, any type of reaction. Okay? Pero it doesn't necessarily mean na mangyayari yun. For all I know, diretso lang yan, butas pa baba, balikan natin tong support from uh, way back nung uh, October 2020. No, So we don't know. Alright? So ito po yung sa shell. For the bullish view, Let's say na mag-hold naman tong 18 pesos, okay? Then we want to see price reclaim tong 18.84 para yun nga, bumalik tayo dito sa 18.84 hanggang 20 pesos na range. If we can break 20 from there, then possibly target 21 pesos. Okay, but again, even if mangyari yun, I wouldn't force the trade unless may maganda talaga na mag-set up for me. Kasi ang dami ring chop dito eh. So even if price could reclaim it, yes, there's a good chance na mabalikan niya yung high nung range na yun from at yung 20 pesos nga, no? But, baka hindi rin siya maging ganong kadali for price. Kasi isipin nyo, puro chop dito, nag-chop tayo dito, nag-chop tayo dito. So hindi naman siguro naagulat na kung mabalikan man natin yun, mag-chop na naman tayo ulit. Right? Uh, next thing na po natin yung Bloom, no? So, Bloom, nung Thursday, diba, uh, nung nagkabentahan ng market, um, nag-red candle tayo na medyo may kalakihan, no? Wide-ranging red candle. Tapos, a lot of people are excited today kasi nag-green candle na naman tayo, parang binawi, no? So, we closed here, we gapped down, okay? Nag-open tayo around 7 pesos, then from there, we pushed up, pabalik ng 7.4. Alright? Now, what do I want to see from here? Number one, I do want to see price start holding above tong 7.3. Bakit 7.3? It's an inflection point. So, it acted as previous resistance, support, resistance, support, and so on. No, So, I want to see price sana start holding above here para talagang mag-open up tong upper end ng range na to between 7.3 hanggang 8.05. However, that being said, I am aware na tong candle so far is trading within the range of the previous candle. What that means, for me at least, is there's a possibility na mag muna tayo, mag-sideways muna tayo, until price decides to break up or down one way or the other. Sirain lang niya tong range na to. Kasi ang laki, ang laki nung range ng previous candle. Eh. So hindi na agulat na na-stuck tayo doon sa loob pang samantala. Diba? So parang tignan nyo to. Nag-candle tayo dito, diba? Itong red. Tapos ito, na-stuck sa loob. Nag-break tayo sa to the upside, pero hindi rin tumuloy. Kasi nga, madalas ganun eh. Kapag we find ourselves stuck in previous candles, then madalas may konting hintay na kailangan nagaganap. 
Okay, there will always be exceptions to that rule, but madalas may konting buelo muna before price decides what it wants to do. Alright? Now, yun yung bullish scenario for me. Kung kaya natin mag-hold above that, targeting 8.05 next, then kung mabasag yung 8.05, mabalikan tong mga highs from before all the way hanggang 9 pesos, no? Ang ayaw kong makita is for price to come down, break beneath tong 6.5, test it from beneath, hold, tapos drop. Kung ganon, highly likely we come back to the previous range from before. Di ba? Nag-chop tayo dito, chop dito, chop dito. So likely we go back to that range. And if pabasag natin tong 6 pesos or 5.95, then baka mabalikan natin yung mga lows na naiwan dito. Okay? But for now, panoorin muna natin kung where this candle goes, where price goes after it got stuck within this wide-ranging candle. Okay, let's see what happens next. Uh, I'm sure na we'll be rediscussing this next week, no? If not, you guys should remind me para mapag-usapan natin to ulit and we can see where it's at a few candles into the future. And then finally, let's take a look at SEB. So yung SEB, um, we broke above, binalikan natin tong area na to, di ba? May consolidation dito, ganun na naman yung nangyari. Then nag-break beneath. Okay, so it wouldn't surprise me from here if we come back, tag this, then roll over, no? Siyempre, yun yung bearish scenario na at ayaw natin makita. Kung nangyari yun, maaaring number one, mag-form tayo ng head and shoulders pattern dito. Number two, pwede hindi na rin tayo bumalik. We could just break beneath. And if so, etong 44, kapag nabasag, we might come here, test it from underneath, roll over, then baka balikan natin tong mga lows na naiwan from before. The more bullish scenario would be for price to come back, retake tong 47, stay above it, para baka bumalik tayo dito sa mas malawak na range na to between 47.10 and 51.35, no? Again, even if it does so, I always like to remind my students na it has acted as a lot of ano, parang choppy areas before. So hindi na agulat kung kung bumalik man yung price dyan, maging choppy na naman ulit. Okay, for me personally, kahit na magbalik yan dyan, I wouldn't go jumping in. I'd still wait for something to set up, something much clearer. Kasi right now, essentially ang ginawa natin, nag-gap fill tayo eh. Will we bounce from here? Will we react from the gap? Will we move higher? If we move higher, ano mangyayari? Head and shoulders pattern ba? Tuloy ba? Mag-high, low, higher high, and so on ba tayo? So that's something that we need to watch out for, no? And even if mabasag natin tong 51.35 na area, may previous area of consolidation dito that price could potentially react from kung makabalik man tayo dyan. Okay, so just possible scenarios and areas to watch out for dito sa SEB. Okay, so guys, dito po nagtatapos yung video natin. I hope nakatulong po to sa inyo kahit papano, no? And if so, I would really appreciate it if you give this video a like and consider subscribing to my channel. And as always, guys, maraming maraming salamat po sa panonood. I really, really appreciate it. Good luck and happy trading.